others, to serve others even at the risk of their own lives. And all those in the fire, depart fire department are able and willing to do this. It's sort of similar to what I am used to, my own boss and chief, maybe some of yours, Jesus Christ, who came and served to the point of death on the cross to pay the debt for our sins. And so here now, it is great to have a profession that is simply able to help others even to the point of risking their own lives. If you are able to and willing to, I'm going to bow our heads for a prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your grace and mercy and for all your blessings in this community. We pray that you will continue to bless all of us here in every way that you are willing as it is your will. Bless those who administrate our community, 
And especially we ask you to bless the fire department in all their undertakings. Protect them from all harm and danger as they, you have done in the past and also in the future. And especially we pray for your blessings of this occasion to this very day that you will continually to be with us, with this department, with this community, as it is possible with your almighty power. And we ask all this in the Son's name, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. What an impressive opening to our ceremony today. Uh, only a group of well-organized professional firefighters can do something like that. My compliments to all of you. When I was asked to come in today and say a few words for this very special event, uh, I very quickly uh, was told that, Jim, this is not a regular council meeting. You can't take the normal 30 minutes that you usually take. You get five and no more. So I'll try to hold it to that particular point today. First of all, it's such a wonderful pleasure to see so many of you come down for this special occasion, and particularly those of you who were former firefighters here in the city of Fairborn. Uh, being an old military man myself, uh, I often liken the life of a firefighter to a fella in the armed forces just before combat. Every time you hear the sirens go here in Fire Fairborn, uh, these men and women are going into combat. They don't know what to expect. Therefore, they must be well-trained, well-organized, and professional to the very core. When they get to the combat zone, it could be a matter of your property, it could be a matter of your life or your death. These men in Fairborn have exemplified the highest level of professionalism that I think any organization could want within its community. We're really proud here in Fairborn that we have that type of man and woman working uh, against uh, all those odds, save our property, save our life, and all that goes with it. I've always thought that firefighters uh, are in a racket or a business, if you will, that is very, very personal to anyone with whom they come in contact. You really don't know what it's all about until you have experienced it. Then you really get the picture. I'm delighted to say that uh, those people who experience it here in Fairborn are getting nothing but the very best in treatment that they could possibly ask for. These men are dedicated. These men uh, are well-trained, and they are professionals through and through. This is the case with those who formerly served with us in Fairborn. It is certainly true with those of you who are with us today, and certainly I hope that we will find the same with those who come with us in the future. So it's indeed a real pleasure, a real pleasure, a thrill and an honor for me to participate and be on the same platform with these men and women in this dedication today where we are honoring those men who are well-deserved in that honor. And I want to ask you, the public, uh, you, the citizens of Fairborn especially, when you drive by this Broad Street area, you couldn't be in a better spot in Africa. When you take a look at this memorial, you think about these men and women. I urge you to stop momentarily in your mind, pay your respect, your admiration, and your appreciation for the fine job that these people do for the people in our community. Thank you very much. Let's get on with the ceremony, shall we? All uniformed personnel.
Bridget was for one day of the bell and pay tribute to the men and women we love so dearly here in Fairmont. Thank you very much. Today is momentous and yet somber event. The aspects of memorial dedication, sombering and knowing that it means the loss of brother firefighters. Professional firefighters such as those that will be honored by this memorial are part of a vast brotherhood. Until the mid-18th century, cities only had the fire watchmen and the volunteer bucket brigade to protect them. The first permanent fire company was organized in 1736 by Benjamin Franklin. During the mid-19th century, the International Association of Firefighters was founded and chartered. Today, there are over 250,000 brother professional firefighters in the United States. The unity of brotherhood is evident by the showing of the various departments that is gathered for it with us today for this occasion. Now as we stand on the doorstep of the 21st century, professional firefighters are still the same as that of firefighters past. From the days of three-quarter boots and old leather liners to today's full protection bunker gear and self-contained air packs, from the horse-drawn hand-operated pumps to today's diesel-powered corn six-man enclosed cab fire engines. The time-honored tradition of a professional firefighter's job is still the protection of life and property. Here in Fairborn, we take pride in our tradition of firefighting. Pride in knowing that on a daily basis, we can make a difference. We do not ask for tributes or rewards. The thank yous from the adults and the smiles and the ways of the children as we drive by is gratification enough. In today's world of ever-changing technological advances, Firefighting is still the number one most hazardous profession. There are over 100 firefighter deaths and more than 100,000 injuries every year in the United States. With this in mind, I ask each of you to reflect on the fireman's prayer which has been printed on the back of your program. Take the time to feel the honor and tradition it reflects in our profession. We hope and pray that the only names that ever appear on this memorial will be those of the retired members of this department, and never a name of a brother that has lost his life in the course of his duty. Thank you. Good afternoon. I want to thank, thank all of you for taking the time to be here this afternoon on this momentous occasion for our department. When I was asked uh, a number of months ago about the possibility of taking this bell that came out of the tower that's behind us in this building. We were getting it to renovate it in uh, the building and putting the face lift on it. A lot of people were concerned about the way it was going to turn out. One of the things was thought was that there was a bell hanging up there that was an original bell with the building. And it was thought that it would be most appropriate to save that bell for some future type of memorial. And here we are today. Several months ago, uh, I was approached by a firefighter who was quite excited about the possibility of pushing this project forward. And I told him, I says, Jerry, says, uh, it's a good idea. I think it should happen. Go for it. Do it. You are in charge. You're the person. <coughs> a few weeks ago, I was uh, brought the uh, original uh, uh, list from the today's events. And I was listed on having to uh, ask him to give a few words of encouragement. And as I pondered this uh, the last couple of weeks as to what I was going to say today, I can think of no better encouragement than the role that the firefighters have played in putting this monument together. When I was approached about it, as I said, I told them to take the job and move forward. And they have certainly done that. They've done an excellent job in preparing and going out and getting the donations necessary of the materials and, and getting the work done. And I can't be any more proud than that. I would like to encourage those of you that are here today to consider the men and women that serve in the fire service, those in front of you and those around the nation, to consider the hazards that they face every day. They don't know what situation they are going to arrive in, and as the mayor said, it's like going into a combat zone. And they will never know until they get there exactly what is going to happen, and those circumstances change by the second very quickly. So 
keep that in mind next time you see a medic or an engine going down the street. And <coughs> hopefully there won't be any life lost, and hopefully the, the property damage will be a minimum. But we never know that. To those that are here today as retirees, I want to uh, thank you for being here. Uh, you have served the city and the township in an excellent manner. We appreciate your past services. Uh, for those who are being honored here today that have relatives here today, thank you for being here. We have really enjoyed thinking about the days when these people were here and what they have done for this department and, uh, and are proud to uh, honor them here today. For those that are here today as firefighters, I want to thank you for all the jobs that you have done and will do. Uh, you have done your job excellently. I, cannot, I cannot think of anything more that I can be sure of on a day-to-day -day basis that these people that you see standing before you will do the jobs that they're out here to do. Nobody that has any doubt about that. And I certainly want to encourage those, that, such as Jerry Matheny, who is the project officer on this project the Memorial, and also for the uh, picture board that you see on the tours of the station, and others, uh, such as our, our new operation safety net that we're doing with the community. These types of programs are, are excellent, and they're positive points towards the future. And we certainly want to encourage those types of things to keep happening, which not only honor our brethren, but also those of our community. Thank you very much.